Hello, welcome back. It's Fred, not in the shed, in a bathroom today. A little bit of DIY. Now, this old bathtub, it's very old. Dates back to about 1989, when the house was built. And it's been the family bathroom for quite some time. And I just want to spruce it up a little bit. I've bought some new taps, had some new taps fitted, and I've got a new bath panel. I don't want to replace the bath because this room doesn't get used very often, but it's just showing signs of neglect, this old tub. A few stains from shampoo bottles and things like that. And generally, it's lost its shine. It's got a kind of a matte finish. It's, it's not very easy to see on the camera, but it doesn't matter how well you clean this with bathroom cleaner, it just doesn't come up particularly shiny anymore. So I've been looking around for something to re-energize it if you like and I found this this is teacup restorer from the home works with UPVC ceramics enamel acrylic which is bath is obviously an acrylic and yeah it's always worked well on cars and I've always had no problem restoring paint on the car so I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna uh, give the old tub a wise quite on. thin the teacup is thinner than you'd normally get on a car and really you just simply work it on a small area, a little bit of pressure. And very much like cutting paint on a car, you can feel when the product product starts to bite into the surface and then you know that it's, it's cutting, it's doing its work. And then it's just a pure case of elbow grease really, just working it round until it dries out and then buffer, buffing it off and hopefully it'll bring back some of the shine. So let me work on this area, just this small area, and then uh, let me see if I can get the acrylic to uh, a little bit of a shine. Right. I've given it two applications, it took about five minutes. It's a bit hard work on the old fingers. Now just to give you an idea, this is the untouched corner, and I don't know how much is coming out on camera, but it's very, very matte and looking very unloved, and the same here. If you look at the reflection of the LEDs on the surface, and as we move across now to the bit that I've treated, hopefully you can see that. And it really has come out quite nice. Very glossy. I've established that it's gonna work, and it works quite well. You can't really see the reflection, unfortunately, on the camera there with the lighting. But yeah, that worked pretty well. And I think also that the gel coat on the bath on top of the fiberglass the acrylic gel coat is quite thick so now I've done that a little bit by hand um, I'm not in any fear that I'm going to cut through it to the fiberglass matting but it was quite hard going I must admit just doing that little section there was pretty heavy work so we're going to transfer it to the drill now we're going to use a polishing mop just a foam polishing mop on the drill carry on using the teacup and I'm going to go right along the edge and then see how it comes up. What I ended up using was a pack of these cheap polishing mops from Amazon. I think this was about £12 delivered and got so many mops on there I'm not going to use. And they're just attached to a drill with a little bit of Velcro. So just a little bit of tea cut there on the mop and then away you go. That's come up, I wouldn't say it's like new, but that bit there, that's come up so much better. It looks so much fresher compared to what we got down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the complete length now of this part of the bath, then I can get the panel on. It's still gonna take a long time. I mean, it's not a job, it's not a five minute job. It's a bit of a labor of love, but it's gonna work out really nice, I think, once it's all finished. It, Last job for me is just to get some warm soapy water, some detergent, wash all around the tub, remove the last traces of the teacup. I've got a new bath panel to fit on and a few more other jobs. And then we'll come back at the end and we'll have a look at the finished job and was it worth all of the effort? Right, it's that moment of truth. It's a bit echoey in here, I do apologize. Well, do you know what? 
for a bottle of home teacup. I am very impressed how this old tub has come up. I do hope it's coming out on camera. I've switched the camera light on. But, it, yeah, okay, it doesn't look a brand new tub, let's be honest about it. It's a 30 year old bathtub, but it's got a nice shine on it now. It looks a lot newer. It only looks like, say, about a year old bathtub. Before, and again, I don't know how it came across on camera, but it was very, very matte. A very matte surface. There was no shine on it at all. It all worn away. It was quite scratched. And I was, you know, you found that when you, with the soap suds and the like, um, it actually sort of stuck to the surface when you cleaned it. It was quite rough, if you like. So what's happened now, it's nice and shiny. I've had about three baths in here since I did it. And it's a doddle to clean. Just wipe it across because it's so polished. It all basically comes off. So conclusions, I think it's very, very worthwhile. I think it rejuvenates an old tub. Um, like I said when I was doing the polishing, it is possible that if you're an arm wrestling champion, you could do it by hand, manually. You would have to break it down into sections because it's quite a killer. Alternatively, as you saw, you can get a cheap polishing kit off eBay, off Amazon, 10 to 15 pounds. Takes a lot of the hard work out. Certainly, uh, that's the way that I would, I would say going forward. But yeah, overall, I'm really, really impressed. It's, it's revitalized this, um, this tub and uh, makes the whole bathroom, in my opinion, look a lot fresher. So there you go, that's it from Freddy in the Shed. A bit of an unusual video. I've not seen anything like this really on YouTube before. Please give me the thumbs up if it's helpful to you, if it's inspired you to maybe have a go and renovate your old bathtub. But as for now, as always, take care, look after each other. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.